I want to help get this information to people. This is a business anomaly. What business are we in? We're in the dream business. Guys, we have the best product in the history of the world. I've always lived by my motto, as you may have read, those of you that got my book, is to dream big, live with purpose, and attack the day. We, we don't know that we got tomorrow. You better do it today. If you got something you're thinking of, you do it today. So now when you talk about the modern economy, what exactly is that comprised of? You know, the modern economy is much different than it was for our parents and our grandparents. Okay. And with globalization and technology, it, it's not the same world. And a lot of the responsibility um, for life has been put back on us. It mm -hmm. used to be you could go work for a company for 40 years and you know, get a pension at, right. the, at the end of 40 years in the gold watch and, and you had a great life. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. The average tenure of job is 4.4 years. Okay. It's not 40 years. It, our grandfather didn't know, need to know about 401ks in the market and ups and downs and crashes and betas. Yeah, definitely something our grandparents didn't have to worry about. Jim Stoddard has been a financial services professional since 1993. He's worked in many different capacities, but developed a niche in managing new ventures. At the age of 17, Jim left home with $100 in his pocket. Worked his way through college, eventually earning several degrees and professional certifications, including an undergraduate degree in finance and an MBA. Here's financial noise. We have a lack of financial education. Everybody's aware of that, right? Only four states in the country require any type of financial education to get your high school diploma. This is something I've studied for 20 years. I call it the distribution gap. This is a business anomaly. We have all of these people over here in the market that need help, that want help, that are asking for help, and guess who's helping them? Nobody. The purpose of my book was to bridge this distribution gap. I wanted to be able to create awareness of the products that, that's out there. In 2006 through 2016, IUL has grown from 3% to 21%. While the affluent comprise of only 10% of the population, they account for almost half of the market utilization. As wealth increases, so does ownership. While 16.7% of non-affluent households own it, up to 40.5% of affluent households own it. What keeps us from getting to point A to point B? We have what's called dream killers. These are the things that inhibit us from achieving our dreams, from doing the things we want to do. I have taken those dream killers and I've identified 19 of them. And I've developed four quadrants from them, physical, financial, personal, and environmental. We better have some tools. And the tools we have, by the way, it doesn't just have to be IUL. We've got all kinds of tools. We have 19 of these and IUL can fix 16 of them. Isn't that awesome? Guys, do you believe this is like the best financial product ever? 16 out of 19. How many of you had that moment when you're explaining IUL to somebody and the light bulb goes off? 